Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Michael and today I'm going to share with you my recipe on how to make habichuela guisadas or stewed beans. This is a Puerto Rican dish that I'm going to be making for you today. And as you can see here, we have taken an ordinary can of beans and we've turned it into something extraordinary. Stay with me and I'll show you how these are made. So let's get started making the habichuelas guisadas or stewed beans. So this recipe was passed down from my grandmother to my mother to me. And this is my version of how I'm going to make the stewed beans today. So I have one can of Goya pink beans or habichuelas rosadas. And these are 15.5 ounces. If you want to use fresh, you can definitely use that. I will we'll be using the, uh, the juice that's in the can also. So take that into consideration when you measure out your dry beans as you're making those. So the whole contents of this can will be going into our mixture today. Then we're going to use a little bit of adobo which will be just a splash for a flavor on that. And then I've got two uh, garlic cloves that I've got minced up here. And I've got one half of a can of Hunt's tomato sauce. And this is an eight ounce can. And I've got four ounces, uh, four ounces of that here and this. So half of this can of this. And then I've got some Sazon Goya. This is con, uh, Colantro y Achote. And you can get this in the store. It comes in a box like this. And we'll be using one packet of that. And then I've got uh, some potatoes. I've got three potatoes. They're about medium sized potatoes. And I've got those cut up into cubes. And I'm going to show you here what that's going to look like as I finish those up with that. And then I've got uh, four ounces of cut up ham. And that is, I get this uh, Smithfield Anytime Boneless Ham Steak with hickory smoked. This is a eight ounce uh, piece of pork. And I've taken that and cut that in half. And I've taken that and cubed that up. I've got everything about the same size as the beans. The potatoes will be the same way. That way they cook a little bit uh, faster. You can definitely put the chunks of tomato, uh, the potatoes a little bit bigger if you want them. But I've got mine about the same size as I've got these pieces of pork here. And then if you haven't checked out my other video on how I make sofrito, if you have seen that, remember I did uh, put my sofrito in ice trays and I did freeze it. And I just keep it in this uh, gallon size bag in the freezer and when I need them I take them out. So for today's recipe I have two of those cubes and I did measure it out just to see what it was and it was four rounded tablespoons. So I've got my um, sofrito here uh, defrosted and it's ready to go. You can get that in the store. They do sell, Goya does sell a, a jar of the sofrito but definitely the, the sofrito that I make at home is very easy to make and uh, just follow those instructions and you'll have this. Also, this is uh, olives with the um, pimentos in them. This is completely optional. A lot of people don't like olives. I do. And so you can put about 10 or 12 of these in your dish and I'll show you where we're going to add those to it. Those are the ingredients that we've got for our habichuelas guisadas today or our stewed beans. And I'm going to finish cutting up this potato. Like I said, I've got three of these. And we'll take a look at it when I get the, the mixture put together. If I need another one, I can always cut up another one. But I usually start with about three of the medium-sized ones, and then we'll go with that. So I'm going to go ahead and finish up these potatoes, and I'll meet you with the stove and show you how this is put together. Okay, I've got my uh, Dutch oven on, and I have this heated it up just a little bit. I'm going to put just a couple of tablespoons of a uh, neutral vegetable oil in the bottom. You can definitely use olive oil if you want to. That's just a... Uh, Wesson uh, vegetable oil that I've got there. Make sure that I got enough on the bottom of that. Let that heat up for just a second and then I'm going to put my pork in and I'm going to kind of brown the pork just a little bit in the oil. Just for about a minute or two just to kind of give it a little bit of a browning on it. And I'm going to turn that eye of that down to about a medium. And something that I didn't mention earlier, just in case you don't want to use the ham, uh, Goya does make a, uh, another seasoning. It's a jamon seasoning. It's got a picture of a pig on the front of it. And you can definitely use one of those packets of that if you don't want to use the ham. But I do like the extra flavor that the ham does to it. It's the same size packet that the, uh, the Sasson and the orange pack that you saw earlier. So. Definitely, if you don't have the ham or don't want to use the ham, they do make a seasoning, Goya does, that, uh, that you can use instead of the actual ham itself. All right, my pork is looking good. It's just give it a little cook through there to get it going and got some brown color to it. So I'm going to take that out 
of there and put that into a bowl. And I'm going to make sure I'm going to put just a little bit more oil on the bottom of it there so I can get my seasonings bloomed up a little bit. So that maybe another teaspoon, half a teaspoon. And we're going to go in with the, the sofrito next. We're going to put that in next. And give that a little stir around. Loosen some of that uh, pork there that was on the bottom. Get some of that color off of that into the sofrito. And I do have my burner down on low. Don't want to burn it up. Just want to kind of heat that up a little bit. And I'm going to take my uh, package of my Sasson Goya seasoning. We're going to take that and I'm going to put that in next. And we'll give that a little mix. This is what's going to add the color to it. As you can see here, it's a deep orange, reddish color to it. So that's going to give us our color for our beans. It adds such great flavor to it. Now we're going to take our garlic. Remember, that was two cloves of minced garlic that I had. So we're going to cut the, put that in now. Half of a can of tomato sauce, which was four ounces. So I'm going to put that in now. And we're going to give that a good mix through. I'm going to take my beans now, and you can see I've added all of the, the juice with it. Make sure we get all of those out of that can. And we'll give that a good mix through. I'm going to turn my heat up just a little bit to kind of bring it up a little bit hotter. Make sure that all that seasoning gets mixed in together with the beans. Then I'm going to come in with a little bit of the adobo which is the seasoning and some of that come out of that lid. So that's an all purpose seasoning that we have there. So it's already got some in it from where I took the lid off of it. So maybe, you know, just seasoning to taste. You don't want to put a lot in it. And we're going to add our uh, pork back into our mixture. And I've got my flame kind of on, I've got a gas oven here. So I've got that kind of on a medium medium low and you can see that's come back up to a nice simmer and now we're going to add our potatoes let me grab our potatoes and we're going to add those in and give that a good mix through and so now that i've got that mixed together i'm going to get some water and i'm going to add some water to this and I'm going to add just enough water. I'm going to turn this back down on low because it's come back up to a, a nice simmer. I'm going to add enough water so that everything, the beans and the potatoes and everything, are submerged. It looks like I might need a little bit more. Yeah, I'm going to put just a little bit more water in it. Definitely the starch from the potatoes will thicken up that uh, juice a little bit there. So that is what we've got. I'm going to put the lid on this and I'm going to cook these until the potatoes are fork tender and uh, we'll, we'll test them in about 10 minutes. At 10 minutes I'm going to put my olives in and I'll come back and show you those. But this is the beginnings of our stewed beans or our habichuelas quesadas. And stay with me and I'll come back and I'll show you at 10 minutes when I add the olives in and what it's looking like. Okay, it has been 10 minutes. I just removed the lid on them and now I'm going to put in some of the uh, olives. And uh, so there's about three. I'm going to put in about uh, 10 or 12. I really like them. Like I said, this is completely optional. I'm going to put the pimentos in there as well. So if you don't like olives, don't have to put those in there. And uh, olives in their brine are naturally salty. So before you add any more uh, seasoning to your mixture, I'm going to test it right now to see if there's anything else that needs to be added to it. I'm going to pull one of these potatoes up and see if it's done. And what you want to what you want to look for, like I said, it was fork tender, and these are not. So we're going to continue to let those cook. I'm going to put the lid back on them, and I'm going to keep stirring on them about once every five minutes, just to make sure that they don't uh, get stuck to the bottom. All right, so we'll continue on. And I'll show you what the fork tender looks like when we get done with that, and we'll be back. 
Okay, we are back. I'm going to turn this down a little bit. I'm going to grab a uh, fork here. And we're going to pull one of these potatoes out. And I'm going to show you what, uh, what I was talking about with fork tender. So when you stick the fork in it and it breaks apart, they're done. And I did taste them. They're done. So I will uh, take these out and uh, meet you back. And we'll show you what these look like. But these are incredible. Okay, we are here with our habichuelas guisadas, or our stewed beans, and we're going to spoon me some out into a bowl and let uh, this get a taste test on these. So look how incredible these look. We've taken just an ordinary can of beans and we have added some nice spices to it and some potatoes and some olives, and we have turned that just a plain can of beans into something that's really really tasty and I'm going to grab me up something here and we're going to give this a little test mmm just right the beans the olives the potatoes the pork the ham that we've got in there all the seasonings that went into it really took an ordinary can of beans to the next level so I hope you've enjoyed this recipe and that it has inspired you to try this if you only eaten just plain pinto beans or pink beans in your in your past and you want to take them to the next level try the apichuelas guisadas it is a puerto rican side dish that i have learned from my well like i say my grandmother and my mother and i hope i've done them proud today and to get out and try this recipe you won't be sorry these are really good so if you like this recipe maybe you might want to try one of those other two over here and uh, don't forget to share, like, and subscribe. Help me grow my channel. All right, bye-bye now. Mmm, really good.